if we take the case of human body only, what do we find? The muscles or the cells of the smooth muscles which are in the internal organs, they are fusiform like this. In the case of muscles found on the skeleton, they are long and cylindrical. In the case of heart, they are branched. This is cardiac, these are striated muscles and these are non striated. In the case of nerve cell, it is very specialized. You know a nerve cell has to pick up message and pass it on. A nerve cell has a very specialized structure. You know nerve cell is responsible for picking up messages and then transporting. So naturally its shape and structure has to be like that. So it has branches. There is a main cell and from this main cell arise branches. The dendrons Now, these are the examples of animal cells. Same is true for the plant cells. If we see the xylem, in the case of xylem, we have tracheids and vessels and vessels are long, while tracheids are tapering at the ends. And phloem, they have sieve plates. And that is why these cells are called sieve tubes. So, like this in the case of both plants and animals, there are specialized cells which have specific shape and structure so that they can perform a specific function. And not only the shapes vary, actually even the size varies. There are some cells which are very small. For example, RBC is a small cell. Nerve cells are quite long. But the point is, what is the largest cell? The largest cell is an egg of an ostrich. You know egg is also just one cell. And the largest egg is that of an ostrich. So, the largest cell is egg of an ostrich. Largest cell egg of an ostrich and the smallest one would be that of bacteria. A special type of bacteria is there which is very very small. So, like this even the size is not same. So, all this is to facilitate proper functioning of the body. Now, that is not all. The cell after we were able to invent electron microscope showed that cell is not just one small thing made up of a cell membrane, nucleus and cytoplasm. This is what we knew till we had my compound microscope, cell membrane and then protoplasm. Now, this protoplasm is made of nucleus and cytoplasm. That is what we knew till we had compound microscope.